Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all well. In this video we're going to be looking at Hulkbuster, but before we get into this, I want to give a massive shout out to Smoother86, one of the very very kind subscribers that I have, that very kindly sorted me out with some wine courtesy of Kisten Macker und Henberger, see I put a little bit of accent on that, because that is the fact that it is a German wine from a German vineyard, and I was quite surprised, I was a bit apprehensive, but I was like, you know, send me some wine, and I am literally having a little glass myself right now. Cheers! I've put a link down in the description. Obviously, it's better if you're in Europe, and obviously if you're in the UK. Order now before Brexit, which might be extended a little while, so you've got some time. Now, the focus of this video is, of course, on Hulkbuster. Now, why did I decide to do this? Well, I've ranked four of them, so, you know, I've got to focus on this as a video. We've got to make some kind of meme-based video on this. I mean, look at those stats, look at that health, look at that attack. Look at the fact he's ranked 4. Before we get into the whole minutiae of the video, take a look at MarvelSynergy.com. This is a great site, really recommend it for those that want to build synergies. And as well, look at like, you know, what improvements have been done to certain characters. And as well, just get an idea whether or not you want to build an acceptable questing team around some sort of build. Rather than just kind of going, okay, I'll put that champion in, that champion will be alright, blah, 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 blah. All that piddly crap. The fact is... This is a very meh type character, and what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be seeing can we build the best synergy around this character, can we see if we can produce some good amount of damage, let's have a look at the abilities, and kind of go like, okay, well we fingers crossed that they can do a lot more with this character, that you kind of think, it's meant to go against Hulk for God's sakes, it's meant to go against Hulk, it's meant to be withstanding the might of Hulk, but unfortunately it just does not do that. Fingers crossed, when they sort it out, it will be a good one. See, for me, Hulkbuster reminds me of that meme. It's like, Hulkbuster, whack. He isn't good, not one little bit. His moveset, whack. His synergies, whack. His damage output, whack. The lack of questing potential, whack. His debuff effects, whack. The way his animations look in specials, whack. But this dude is tight as f. Let's have a quick look at the abilities. Now, I think a lot of people will probably be questioning why I chose to do a video like this. I'm thinking like, you look, I've ranked four of the champion. I've got a specific type of rank up gem, and I'm thinking, Kabam might actually do some good with this character. I'm kind of thinking, it's got to deal with Hulk. If we're looking like the movies, at the point of the inspiration of where it was put in, yeah, Hulk, Buster Armor, uh, and like comic books and whatever. But the fact is, seeing it in a big screen, seeing how it dealt with Hulk, I think inspired a lot of people when they picked up the game and as well getting the character like this guy's gonna be good he's gonna deal with hulk and the answer is no no he's not not one little bit and especially with iron rage it says here hulk buster's arm rating is reinforced upon receiving damage now one thing in game that i've learned over the years is it's not good to take damage but if you've got a certain champion like mr sinister taking damage it may be a good thing well it could trigger some things with uh regeneration but with other characters not so much Yes, increasing up to 1277 based on the lost health. Obviously, that's armor rating, but the fact is, uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to take damage, why? The perfect counter to the Hulk's rage. Not necessarily, as Mr. Bean once said. <laughs> you, you, you're going to get absolutely destroyed if, you, if you've got Hulk down to Hulk rage. Uh, no, 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 no. And that, and that again is why we're kind of doing this video as a bit of a kind of a funny thing, a bit of a meme thing, but at the same time seeing what can a rank four version of this champion do. With the passive effect being that uh, armor up anytime the opponent triggers fury, increase armor rating by five four four. I mean that's good if the uh, if the enemy gets fury, but let's face it, there's only a small pocket of uh, champions that get fury within the game. Although I have seen a few times, like, does it count for actually the Fury passive or is it the Fury buff? Because let's face it, there's a difference. There's a difference between the passive version and the proper version. And then we've got all the other special attacks, which again put like armor break on, which can be quite helpful. I did see some uh, nice amounts of crits from the uh, footage that I'll be um, splicing and dicing into this particular video. Synergies wise, he's got nothing but <laughs> doesn't. I mean, it doesn't really matter. The fact is, again, this is all for lols. This is all for the fun. And the fact this this rank four version is um, does all right. If you like hitting way over 400 hits in order to take down Winter Soldier in Realm of Legends, then he's not too bad. Okay, so here we go. 
I've put footage over the top of this video of facing off against Winter Soldier and I'm going to cut it in a certain way that maybe is a little bit more interesting. The fact is, look, look, again, you don't want to be sticking around in a video for 400 hits to kind of go, oh, Rich, you've kind of like, you've done a funny video-ish, kind of, all about a meme or meta character. No, I, again, I've thought about saying to myself, look, well, let's try and do this. Let's get through Winter Soldier. Let's see how many hits it was to take it down and the effort and kind of understanding what was best. And at the end of the day, hitting in with the constant L1 effect of hitting in that armor break, yeah, it sort of helped but constantly spamming L1s seems to be a bit boring. And I'm kind of thinking maybe a synergy in the future if I was to use the champion in its current state, utilizing something with uh, combo increases, maybe even the Heimdall synergy would have been a better bet than this. But let's face it, if you kind of say to yourself, hey, I know someone from a top tier alliance. Do you know what they use nowadays? It's that Hulkbuster at rank five or that six star version at rank two. Uh, you go, nah, nah, that's not happening. So I really hope that uh, when Kabam are considering putting in this uh, buff, that they do the champion justice and maybe make it exactly like we've seen in the movies, some aspects of the comic books, where we've kind of gone, right, this can definitely deal with Hulk. So this amazing damage dealing character. Yep, Kabam. Don't mess this up, please. I think there's a lot of people banking on this being a success, and especially for those that have unfortunately picked up a six-star version of Hulkbuster, but it could be fortunately if Kabam get it right. And if we've got comparisons with Venom, Carnage, and Old Man Logan and Colossus, then I think we are in very safe hands when it comes to any given improvements for any new characters or old characters that are being put into the game or reworked in the game. There we have it guys, that has been the video. Put in the comment section down below what you think is going to be changed about Hulkbuster. As well, do you think that we should see buffs to synergies with all the other Iron Man armors? And as well, what are your thoughts around maybe Hulk buffs based on synergies? Are we going to see something that's going to be completely amazing? Is it going to overshadow a lot of other characters? Are we going to see some extended immunities? What are your thoughts? Put them in the comment section down below. Thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.